I know a lot of you are probably using a Samsung phone and enjoying those One UI features, so you'll be excited, or maybe a little disappointed, to hear that details for the Android 13 One UI 5 have started to leak. And while there's still a lot of time left for things to change, the changes I've seen so far are pretty minor. The news comes courtesy of Max Weinbach over at 9to5Google. Max was able to finagle access to the upcoming One UI 5 image. He can't be sure if this represents what we'll see when the One UI 5 beta lands for sure until it actually does, but so far, he's only been able to spot five big changes among a handful of tinier tweaks. Oh, and on top of celebrating One UI 5, I released these new Samsung-inspired walls on my Patreon page. They look beautiful on any Samsung screen or any other device for that matter. Also looks great with all the exclusive widgets that I made, only on my Patreon page for the link in the description. Anyways, the first big new change are the notifications, and it's not even that exciting. And that instantly tells me that One UI 5 might not end up being as huge of an update as we expected it to be. But I could be wrong, and I hope I am. So the change is that the notifications have a subtly different layout. In fact, it looks a little like stock Android in a way, and that's gonna be a theme in the changes that were spotted so far. With the new layout, app icons for the notifications are set inside a circle, with text for the notification offset to the side. On One UI 4, app icons were sort of the size of the text itself and stuck right next to it, with the text for the notification then wrapped around beneath the icon. If this looks familiar, that's because it's pretty much how notifications look on the pixel. There's a really strong resemblance. Even the notification settings and clear button down at the bottom have a pill-shaped background, sort of like a pixel. I'm not saying that it's exactly like Google software, but Samsung is clearly leaning in that direction a little when it comes to notifications and a few other things in One UI 5. When you open up an app for the first time and it needs you to use your location for something, you know how it asks you before it gets it, or how it has to get your okay to read from storage before it can see your photos. The technical term for that screen that comes up asking if you want to let the app do its thing is called a permission dialogue, and those are changing in One UI 5 as well. In the leaked One UI 5 beta, Samsung's own permissions dialog, which sits at the bottom of the screen for easier one-handed access, have been replaced with Google's own permission dialog. Again, looking a little more like stock Android. If you've seen what the requests look on a pixel, then you get the idea. These new dialogs are bigger, centered in the middle of the screen, and have a larger colored in background for the individual options you can tap on. It might be that Samsung decided with these changes that it was just easier to stick with how stock Android looks, but it could also be that Samsung hasn't finished designing how the new permissions dialogs will look in its own system, and this could go away in a future update. You know how Google Lens and iPhones can take the text in a photo and turn it into something you can copy and paste? Samsung's building that right into One UI 5 as well. The gallery app in One UI 5 is able to scan images with a new button you'll see at the bottom of the screen when it recognizes some. With it, your phone can analyze text and turn it into something you can use on your phone, copying and pasting it into another app, which should work just like an iPhone. You could already do this before in a bunch of different ways with Bixby Vision, but now it's built right into the gallery. Samsung's keyboard app on One UI 5 can do the same thing too, sort of like you how you can do it on the iPhone. That means when you want to scan text from your camera, like a menu or a poster or something, you can tap the option, point your camera, and copy text right off it. Before talking about the other changes that One UI 5 comes with, I'm excited to be working with Omaze to offer you the chance to win an Audi RS e-tron GT while also helping support a great charity called Oscars Kids. If you're not aware, Omaze is a unique fundraising platform that gives people the chance to dream big and win once in a lifetime prizes, all while helping nonprofits make the world a better place. In other words, they're transforming typical charitable giving while also serving the needs of their communities. And it's working too, because they've already raised over $100 million to date. As I said before, they're giving away an Audi RS e-tron GT, which is Audi's newest electric car in the US and can go from zero to 60 in just 2.9 seconds. Pretty insane. Your donations will then make an impact on Oscar's kids a charity that supports and enriches the lives of children and families fighting against pediatric cancer and other childhood diseases. If you want to learn more about this sweepstake, be sure to go to amaze.com slash howtomen, and who knows, you may end up winning that beautiful Audi RS e-tron GT while also supporting a great cause, the Oscars Kids. Android 13 is bringing a new unified security and privacy section for pixels, and Samsung is picking up what Google is putting down. 
It looks a little different, but the One UI 5 beta shows a new section with the same name within its settings. Like on Pixels, you'll get a big, easily spotted warning if something is wrong up at the top, or a big green looks good if things are okay, and a button you can tap on to do a scan for things that might be wrong with your phone. On Pixels, that then gives you specific actions for things to do if it spots something wrong, but it's not really clear how that might look or work on One UI 5 yet. Right now, Mac says all the options actually in this section work in the same way as it did before on One UI 4, so nothing has really changed there yet. One UI 5 is also adding two new gestures for triggering multitasking features, making it faster and easier to access multiple apps at once. One of the new gestures adds a two finger swipe from the bottom of the screen to change to a split screen view. Based on the picture the setting shows, it sounds like it will move the current app up at the top half of the screen and give you the option to open a new one on the bottom in split screen view. Sort of like Oppo's Flex Drop, but instead of a floating window, Samsung is opening the app in split screen. On top of that, there's a new corner gesture. With it, you can swipe in from a corner to make the current app change to a pop-up view where the app sits in its own sort of window. So if you want to have an even more custom app layout to do something specific, that's just a swipe and a few taps too. Neither of these features actually worked in the version that Max had, but they might when the One UI 5 beta lands or they could work in a future beta. Max has also spotted a lot of smaller changes like the ability to toggle ultra wideband from the settings. If you don't know that one, it's really just used to locate something like a Samsung Smart Tag Plus sort of like Apple's AirTags. The About Phone page within the settings also shows a photo of the phone. The Samsung Notes app also has a new collaboration feature that sounds like you'll be able to share notes with someone else to work on them together, or so you can both have access to something like a shopping list. Lastly, he saw that One UI 5 also has Android 13's Active Apps feature in quick settings. Just like on the Pixels, it can show you which apps are actively running. That might be handy for tracking down something that's draining your battery without you even knowing about it. And that's pretty much it. All of what we've seen so far is unofficial too, and there's no guarantee yet that the update that Max saw will match the first beta. This could be an earlier build Samsung tested for something else, and we won't be 100% sure until an unofficial One UI 5 beta lands. No one knows exactly when that might be yet as well, though it could be very soon. Still, make sure to get subscribed because I'll be one of the first to review it on the channel in great detail when it drops. Whether you like the changes in One UI 5 so far or not, you better drop a like on this video. Check me out on Twitter and Instagram at HowToMan if you want to stay up to date with One UI 5 changes. Make sure to check out my Patreon for those exclusive wallpapers and widgets. And thank you for sticking to the end. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!